Hey, and welcome to the 19th episode of the CMX Games Design Cast. I'm Dave. And I'm Scott. And we are one month away from our Target Kickstarter launch day. Yikes. So, Scott, what are we doing? Uh, everything. <laughs> yes, that, that is very accurate. Uh, everything is, uh, that's an accurate assessment. All the things you wouldn't think you'd have to do uh, if you ask somebody, what are the things you need to do in order to bring a game, board game to market? Uh, so we still have gameplay stuff we're dealing with a little bit. Uh, I mean, the feedback we're getting now is much smaller <laughs> uh, than it's ever been before, which is always a good sign. That keeps narrowing and narrowing and narrowing and narrowing. Um, it means we're having to make very hard decisions about just tiny little balance things. <laughs> a lot so, of consulting with a thesaurus to figure out exactly the right name for a given action. After yeah. we tweak it, oh, that name doesn't quite work anymore. Yep. Yeah. And then we have to relearn the name. Oh, what's happening upstairs? I think <laughs> my child is playing basketball. <laughs> I thought little Tykes was downstairs. Uh, it goes back and forth. Oh, okay. He was supposed to be going to bed, but no. Nope. <laughs> All right. Little takes. So prepping for Kickstarter, other than just having to have a game ready, wow, is there a lot to do. Uh, but I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we are officially <laughs> registered uh, to get our business number and our importer number for Canada as of last week. So we will be a Canada-friendly Kickstarter. And next week we're going to start tackling the European Union uh, so that we can be EU-friendly as well. Uh, we've been spending time doing what? Spreading the word about the game. A lot of that. Yeah. Trying to get the word out there. We were in uh, Daily Mining Gazette article. We've been in the Michigan Tech Alumni Magazine. Uh, we've been showing the game at the uh, I'm Bored here in Madison. We've been showing the game at Gary Con. We've got playtest kits in every corner of the country with people showing the game off. Yeah, it was at PAX East uh, in Boston yesterday, right Saturday. Right now, and uh, yesterday, uh, Wagner had it at uh, Blue Highway Games in Seattle. Uh, we've got it at San Diego as well. Uh, so lots of places. Oh. Uh, what else? So, make a game. We need to manufacture it. So we've been getting quotes from uh, multiple manufacturers over the course of this process. Uh, we sort of narrowed it down to the, the two that we're most interested in working with, this Panda and uh, Ludofact. Um, so we know how much it's going to cost in theory. Right now we're working on getting like the final quote submitted with different like stretch goal pledge levels um, so that we have up-to-the-date information before we press that button to make it go live. So you can see the outlines of, uh, I don't know if I'm going to spoil it, but of some of the potential stretch goal meeples behind uh, Dave's um, left shoulder there. Or is that your right shoulder? That's your uh, left shoulder. That's my left shoulder. I always forget which way they flip people on this. but uh, Yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that is the first public display of the yeah. <laughs> meeples. And that's as, that's as much as you're going to get right now. <laughs> Uh, so once the game is made, we've got to get it from the manufacturer to somewhere else. <laughs> um, so that'll be some freight forwarding service to get it copies to the U.S. and the plan is to get copies into Canada and copies into probably the United Kingdom, uh, so that when we ship to backers, we can ship from those countries mm -hmm. from Canada to Canada, U.S. to U.S., EU to EU, or U.S. exporting to other places around the world as necessary. Uh, so we're looking at doing fulfillment through Amazon for that. Amazon.com, .ca, and .co.uk, uh, plus export by Amazon for stuff from the U.S. that isn't within any of those areas. We're also thinking about fulfilling by hand a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, Not but... A discounted pledge level for folks that are willing to pick up the game in Madison or in Houghton. Uh, the plan would be that we would have a, like a nice launch event in each of those 
cities, if you can call Houghton a city, <laughs> not just a town. Um, and hopefully most people would pick them up then, and then we'd hold on to your games for a few months after that to give you time to pick them up from us. But it's going to be cool for us to, to meet a lot of the fans that way or the backers that way. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so that's a lot of where we're sitting. And we'd spent a decent amount of time last night, like, looking over what we think our pledge levels are going to be. Like, how should this be worded exactly? Yeah, <laughs> the tagline for Kickstarter, the, uh, yeah. or whatever, the, ti the Kickstarter title, then what's the next yeah. one called, the tagline or whatever? Uh, yeah, it's like, basically, it's like your short blurb Yeah. project. Yeah, digging into setting up the Kickstarter page that's starting to take shape. Um... You know, thinking about the video and all that stuff, too, going forward. It's really interesting, you know, uh, one, one of the things Dave mentioned, um, you know, I should do is go back and look at, like, the, the Kickstarter pages that had uh, it really caught me, uh, and, and what did they do? And I go back and look at them, and I'm like, wow, a lot of those are kind of a mess. <laughs> it's like a wall of text, and, like... A couple of dudes standing in front of a white wall with terrible sound talking about the project. <laughs> the idea was just like so good that it just worked. But uh, that's what sells it, I guess. Yep. But we'll try and make it nice and clean and crisp. Yep. So it looks good. You know, sell it as good as we can off from every aspect. Make it all clean and pretty and nice and probably gonna have a pretty simple video, relatively simple video. Not talking about doing crazy special effects or anything like that, just the two of us talking about why we've invested a year and a half of our lives into this project for some reason <laughs> and what that reason is. Yeah, so 30 days and, uh, and, and we'll hit go and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll hear the end of it for another 28 days. Wild ride after that. Uh, so, um, other than that stuff, it's like we're sending our first official reviewer, previewer, reviewer, YouTube board game personality copy <laughs> out uh, in this upcoming week, which is super exciting for us. Uh, also sending out another sort of, you know, playtest slash show-off kit um, out to buddies in Portland who have been clamoring for the game for quite a while now. Uh, put them off long enough. Sorry, Duncan. <laughs> yep. We'll get it to you very soon. Got a whole new round of cards coming tomorrow. Ship out the new kits on well, tomorrow afternoon, possibly. Tuesday, maybe. That had its own saga. Oh. Gameplay-wise, um... We spent the last couple of weeks trying to make the game as easy as possible from a learning standpoint without reducing the strategic value of the options available to you on your turn or throughout the game, which I think we've had a lot of success with. Uh, I mean, we've done on another, 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 another draft of the rules, uh, and cut out 10% of the rule book um, without hurting the game and I by improving the game actually yeah down to it so it's good that's been quite a bit of work and seems to be paying off we've got a couple of testers who used that version this weekend and so did we to very positive result yeah it's definitely a few things that we were kind of um uh, hadn't really thought about removing before, or or we'd kind of experimented, but we we just sort of assumed it would you know kind of blow away some of the strategy and involved. And uh, turns out, no, actually, mining's a pretty dangerous operation no matter what you do. Yeah, the biggest thing we did was get rid of the overworking rule, which was our largest. I don't know how to how do you put this. The rule that most involved saying, uh, well, except when but also, and if, then, but not unless. Uh, so we've gone through the game and taken out 
taken out everything like that, like, almost entirely throughout. Almost entirely. The, the most complicated thing left in the game now are the Porok terrain tokens, which are, like, very simple to start out with, but then do some more complicated things later on down the line in the game. Um, and they're also the kind of thing that you don't have to fully understand as soon as you start playing. Uh, everything that you need to know to start playing now is much simpler, and then the game increases in complexity as it moves on. Uh, and and it doesn't sort of jump around as much as it used to in terms of what changes from, from era to era. It's, it's a lot smoother curve. Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Yeah, that was a big thing, too. So, um, but, you know, thanks to our playtesters for really sort of catching on that and, and seeing that this, you know, uh, there's a lot to, to, to take in at these transitions, and we look at it like, oh, yeah, probably don't need to do that. Yeah, what is what has to change when the era changes? Okay. Well, maybe... So, so we played it on board uh, Thursday, um, and, uh, you know, we taught the game in 15 minutes... Um, less than 15 minutes, and then we played a, a game, four-player game, in an hour and 20 minutes or so with two new players. Uh, so I, we're ridiculously happy with that result. <laughs> that is great. I would not expect new players to play the game that quickly if we are not there, uh, but that's just about... I mean, I, would, I wouldn't have expected to be that quick, really. Yeah. Yeah, so I was starting the game at like quarter to seven. I'm like, well, he closed at nine. Well, I'll give it a try, and <laughs> it worked out. Made it safely. So good. Yeah, we've really made a lot of progress in a lot of areas. We feel very confident about the game. Yeah. I can feel to tell that I'm a little nervous about <laughs> 30 days away from Kickstarter. Uh, but yeah, we're. I mean, we're we're really happy with the gameplay, um, the art. Um, Dave's been working on the, 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 the design for the playtest kits, the graphic design, and that's, I mean, making the game a lot clearer. Um, yeah, I think I've been able to do a lot to increase understanding of the game just with the graphic design. Uh, and then, you know, we got the board game, or the, 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 the board art coming in uh, that looks fantastic from uh, Chris. The box art, I think you box mean. Box art, yeah. Some art, box art. Yes, the uh, last, the final piece of art is the box. So we're getting to the point where we're basically at peace with sort of every every component. Uh, yep. You know, so it's time to go. Yeah, you know, and um, after Scott played Copper Country with uh, Ed Marriott at Protospiel, Ed sent us this like very detailed sort of list of questions, like, "Are you ready for Kickstarter?" Basically. And we were able to go through and say, yep, 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 down the line. Uh, so. And that was three weeks ago. <laughs> that was three weeks ago. So it's not like we don't have a lot to do, um, but we know what we're doing. And we've taken a lot of steps in the right direction. That's it. People are, you know, that get in touch with us are anxious for this game to be out there, you know. Yes, they are. We've gotten a lot of nice emails about that. The last couple of weeks, people emailing us, feeling, like, eh, when is it? I want it. <laughs> That's good. It feels real good. Uh, we have our, possibly our last, maybe our second to last Game Crafter design cabal before Kickstarter tomorrow night. Uh, we might be taking the game to a gaming group on Friday next week. So still doing a lot of play testing. Gaming Hoopla, I guess, in Janesville, potentially. Potentially. Geekway yeah. to the West. Geekway to the West will be after our yeah. launch. Uh, launch, yep. That's it. Next design cast will be two weeks away from Kickstarter launch, I guess. Or, oh, wait, no. Three. It's every week, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Next week, we might do a gameplay demo, so. Yeah. We'll yeah. Got a few right. videos to make in the meantime. Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. So that's episode 19. One month away from Kickstarter, if you can believe it. <laughs> Strap ourselves to this rocket and light the fuse. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>